Okay, we got the 12 servo parallax walker here. I usually keep it on a CD spindle up on the shelf. Uh, keeps all the uh, weight off the legs, and if you want to do any programming, you can uh, not to worry about it taking off on you either. Let it come alive here. Alright, so since this has a LiPo battery in it, I want to be careful not to discharge it over the way. We got, um, let's see, right here, got a little battery meter. We can keep an eye on it. It will move with the uh, actuation of the servos. If we turn on the transmitter, it would help. Some of the functions. Let's see. It's all the way on whites. Sorry about that. We got um, infrared sensor up front. So if it gets too close to something, you'll hear it. It also uses the vibration function inside the controller. Camera up front. Control by the left joystick. Typically pan and tilt. Some of the functions of this, if I remember right, it's been a while. <laughs> Let's see. There's your camera, pan tilt. This is uh, walking, of course, forward. If you push it just a little bit, it'll walk real slow. Okay. So I think the D pad. Let's see. Up. Oh, that's up and down raises the height of the ride. Then let's see, side to side, I believe, is speed. So, right, max speed. That's the fastest walking speed. Turn it around. Even in the fastest speed, you can still just move the joystick sees me, that's why it's making a noise. You can still move it real slow, even in the fast walking speed. I can't remember what the rest of the buttons do. You can play around with it. It'll be fun. <laughs> but like I said, the most important thing is don't run LiPo battery down all the way. If you haven't dealt with them before, they're not like a NICAD. Saves a lot of weight in the unit. Um, let's see if we can get in here to the battery unit. Too low, it won't walk. Like I guess I don't remember all the function. I know there was some other stuff that he was planning on uh, using for this. Jim Fry, the owner of Lynx Motion. Motion. Whereas you can, I've got some documentation and stuff, but there's some buttons on the uh, the bot board for different different functions. So you can load different stuff into each memory location, I believe. A lot of fun stuff though. It's a fun little robot. I haven't used it all that much. I tend to uh, tend to build these things and then just kind of collect them, set them on the shelf. Anyways, if you have any questions, you can always email me. And hope you enjoy your new bot.